everyone and a very special welcome to the Ferrari Mobile eSports Series Winners Show. We're going to be giving you the full rundown of everything that happened during a rather intense first series of mobile eSports activations by the Ferrari brand. Yeah, that's right, Nikki. This series has produced some incredible displays of driving talent from our mobile eSport racing enthusiasts. We've been blown away by the quality and the levels of engagement in this championship, Nikki, haven't we? It is such an incredible feat from all our drivers to set a time on the leaderboard here in the Ferrari Mobile eSports series. Absolutely. The driving throughout this series has been truly impressive matched only by the unbelievable level of enthusiasm shown by our mobile gaming community. From what has really been the very first adventure into the world of mobile esports from Ferrari. And it's been a fantastic journey so far. Run on Real Racing 3, published by Electronic Arts, using exclusive Ferrari 488 GT3 car. We've been absolutely blown away by your enthusiasm to take part in the racing action. And we really have had an exceptional level of engagement from the racing community. Um, an absolutely insane number of players taking part in the series and some very impressive performances throughout. So thank you very much for all getting involved with so much skill and enthusiasm. An incredible turn of pace with a 1 minute 20.983. Alfred Stroltz from Germany is our new Ferrari Mobile Esports Series champion. Alfred put in a sensational lap and we will hear from him and the entirety of the top three in a few moments time. But before we do that, let's take a look at these outstanding lap times and how they did are on the circuit. So then, here we go. This is our fastest lap time. This is Alfred Stolz from Germany in the Ferrari 488 GT3 here at the Temple of Speed at Monza. Alfred using all of the racetrack and more to get his 1 minute 20 second lap time and taking the fastest finish as the Ferrari eSports Series. The highlights sped up, of course, as the 488 GT3 charges through the Parabolica for the final time on the run down to the flag. 1 minute 20.983 would be Alfred's final lap time to take overall first position in the championship. Naomi Tang was second in a 1 minute 20.992, so the times were incredibly close at the top of the field. Again, Naomi using all of the racetrack and a little bit more in order to achieve that lap time, pushing the car to its absolute limits, taking all of the racetrack and more in the pursuit of the ultimate lap here in Real Racing 3 and the Ferrari Mobile Esports Series. In third position, would be a driver called Ahn Jeong, finishing with a 1 minute 21.036. And another driver who used every trick in the book in order to get the maximum times from this car. Monza is a circuit that rewards commitment, rewards pushing the car on corner exit to get the best run down the many long straights. Be aggressive on the brakes into the heavy braking zones. Use all the curbs and more and Anne did a fabulous job to round out third position and they're your top three. Wow, outstanding action there. Thank you to Paul for that recap. Seriously impressive though to see such tremendous performances from our drivers during those laps. There was certainly plenty of action and even more bravery with how much track is actually being used to set those lap times. So truly impressive. Now, I suppose the big question left to answer is, what exactly have our drivers won for all their endeavours out on track and all their efforts? Well, let me reveal to you that actually the prize list for this series is really quite amazing. Uh, in first place, the winner will not only take home a signed Ferrari shirt by none other than Ferrari Formula One driver Charles Leclerc, but also a money can't buy VIP experience at Ferrari challenge events within their region. Yes, 
that is right. Big thank you to Ferrari Mobile Esports Series because he will be able to get closer to the action than ever before in what should be a really, truly remarkable experience. I'm rather envious. Now, our runner-up will have a beautiful limited edition Swiss-made Pilota Evo watch, a BBR model Ferrari 488 Challenge Evo, and a Puma for Ferrari sports backpack. What a collection of goodies. I'm rather envious, I'm sure you are too. Um, now, last and by no means least, third position and a fantastic collection of Ferrari store collection products, which are gonna be coming your way. In total, no less than seven Ferrari clothing items that could be coats, shirts, sweatshirts, trainers, and more are well on the way to you for your amazing efforts. So huge congratulations, well done to each of our top three finishers. Now, speaking of which, let's hand over to Paul to have a word with our podium finishing drivers. Thank you very much, Nikki. That's right. Earlier, we had the chance to talk to our top three finishers and get their thoughts on what it means to finish in the podium places of the Ferrari Mobile Esports Series. So, without further ado, let's talk to our top three. And now I am joined by the winner, the new champion of the Ferrari Mobile Esports Series, Alfred Stolls. Congratulations, Alfred. Can you tell us a little bit about how it feels to be the very first Ferrari Mobile Esports Series champion? Hello, Paul. Um, greetings from Germany. I'm still very excited to be the winner of the first Ferrari Esports Challenge in Real Racing 3. And it was a great pleasure to me to participate in such a great event. Um, I mean, uh, it was the second time that the sponsor um, brought up such a championship in Real Racing 3 and uh, it's the bigger one because the, uh, the former one uh, some months ago was sponsored by Formula 1 and it uh, was more people got prizes but the prizes was not so great uh, like the Ferrari one. Fantastic. It was a brilliant achievement to take the victory against hundreds of thousands of competitors. Can you tell us a little bit about how much practice and work went into to bringing yourself to a level where you could win the overall competition? Well, it's... Um... At first, uh, the matchup between the car and the track, uh, I loved it from the first second, so it was almost like love at first sight. And uh, it got very quick in the first 30 minutes, a very good lap time, and then put two more stints of 30 minutes in it in the first day, and got the lap that you already featured on your page on Twitter and in uh, Ferrari Esports Online. But then I had to wait almost two weeks um, before two other guys uh, did slightly faster laps than me, so I had to go back behind the wheel and try to do my best again. And it's finally I succeeded. Fantastic. It took me almost six and hours course, to do so. <laughs> I mean, Real Racing 3, of course, is a fabulous platform. As you've already mentioned, the Ferrari 488 GT3 is an absolutely beautiful car and anybody watching this at home could you give some advice a piece of advice that you could give to them about how they too could to compete and compete at a high level in a series such as this well the answer is, is a little bit complicated because it doesn't matter if you play on a very tiny device or on a big ipad pro of the latest generation so it's um, more about the skills of your hands, the movements and the wrists and how you um, study the track and the car. You have to learn the limits of the car uh, in every corner, learn the braking points, acceleration points, entry angle, uh, exit angle for every single corner and uh, see that you are um, almost on the limit of the car in every corner. So it's almost like dancing on the racer's edge. So um, this is uh, the fun part of, of time trials, real racing, because um, you are 
you get such an adrenaline pump in every corner and uh, when you finally get to the almost perfect lap uh, you're very happy at the end well you did indeed have an almost perfect lap and you took the race victory so alfred stolls thank you so much for your time today congratulations once again on winning the championship thank you so much thank you very much too and greetings to italy so now i have the pleasure of being joined by our second place finisher naomi tang from hong kong naomi congratulations on a fantastic result welcome to the Ferrari eSports Series interviews. And can you tell me a little bit about what it feels like to finish in second place in such a hard fought series? Um, hi, Paul. Um, yes, it's pretty, it's pretty relaxing after finish the race. It's a huge re release for me. Um, it's, it was pretty intense race. Um, you, you know, you push a lot and hours and hours. Um, just try to reach your limit and at the limit, um, just you, finally you see a uh, ceiling here. You just you can reach, you can touch. Yeah, yeah. You probably just um, probably accept it, but um, yeah, definitely celebrate it. Um, um, never done this before, so yeah, second place winner. Um, I'm pretty looking forward to the prize fantastic a really great result and as a mobile gamer yourself can you tell us a little bit about what it means to you and what it means to the mobile gaming community to have a brand like ferrari hosting official esport competitions on this platform yeah i think ferrari is a pretty huge influence um, in personally and you know um East voice usually um, not much people mention about, but when you talk about Ferrari, yes, everybody just starting to know it. Um, the recognition from the Ferrari well-known brand is just huge. You just um, you you don't talk a lot about uh, this kind of stuff. Um, I think it's also great to our community in Real Racing Free Pad. There, um, we we don't got a lot of online event. Um, we just recently got this um, Ferrari time trial and yeah, we got like um, six and seven million participants this time. It's totally insane. Um, I don't even, I don't even believe that. So yeah, there's a lot of healing going on uh, recently. So that definitely help, helps a lot in our um, gaming and our future community. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, of course, finishing in second position, you have won an incredible collection of prizes that are, are making their way to you soon. Out of all these winnings, what are you most looking forward to uh, getting your hands on? Yeah, so you guys like, um, you got a uh, Switch watch and a model car, Ferrari 488 um, and a backpack. This is a Ferrari logo on it. Personally, personally for me, um, that is most useful one. I'm definitely looking for that one. I'm, I'm gonna carry that uh, while hiking, camping. Yeah, um, even showing off to my friend is just um, really, really, really nice touch for me. And the color is pretty good. Um, I'm not sure that's the final one on picture. Yeah, thank you. Fantastic stuff. Congratulations again on a brilliant second place. And thank you for taking the time to join us today, Nomi Tang. Much appreciated. Ciao, ciao. Hello and welcome to our third place finisher, Anne Jago. Anne, great to have you with us. Hello and welcome. Hello, Lace Benz. Hi, great to have you. Now, a third place finish is a fine reward for the Ferrari Mobile Esports Series. Can you tell us a little bit about the level of preparation you undertook to get this final podium spot? Uh, 
어, 그리고 마지막으로 이, 이것들을 이제 게임 내에서 플레이하면서 좀 많은 시행착오를 겪은 끝에 좋은 결과를 낼수 있었습니다. Great. Now, uh, this year marks the first times that Ferrari have engaged in a mobile esport competition. How exciting for you as a mobile gamer is it to see such a prestigious brand as Ferrari in mobile esports? Uh, 처음에 게임 내에서 이 일정을 확인했을 때 다른 브랜드도 아니고 페라리에서 이런 대회를 열었다는 것에 굉장히 특별하다고 느꼈고 흥미롭게 생각했습니다. 그만큼 국산권에 들어가고 싶은 동기부여가 크게 작용했고 평소 주간 타임 트라이얼 할 때에 비하면 훨씬 집중해서 참가할 수 있었습니다. Fantastic, thank you. And now finally, uh, can you tell our viewers here tonight just what is so attractive to you about competing in esports situations on a mobile platform? 어, 단순히 게임 내에서 주간 타임 트라이얼을 하다가 이렇게 인터뷰까지 할 정도로 모바일 플랫폼에서 큰 대회를 잘 마칠 수 있던 게 굉장히 낯설지만 즐거운 경험이었습니다. 그리고 이렇게 좋은 대회를 열어주신 페라리 측에 감사하다는 말을 전하고 싶습니다. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time and congratulations once again on a great podium finish. Thank you. Well, thank you, Paul, and a big thank you to our top three players for taking the time to have a chat with us today. Great to hear from them. And remember, you guys at home can still stay in touch with the world of Ferrari eSports by tuning in to Ferrari eSports series on our website over on ferrariesportsseries.gg or, of course, follow us on social media at Ferrari eSports for the latest news, stories, announcements, and all of those opportunities to really immerse yourself within the world of Ferrari across the digital space. We really do hope you've enjoyed the show today. Um, but that is not all. No, far from it, in fact, because on December the 14th, we are going to be hosting the Ferrari eSports series grand final show where after a year of racing comes to its conclusion and the very best drivers will come together in a winner takes all series of races now make no mistake this is going to be one of the most intense esports events of the year and we really hope that you will join us along for the ride. That live show is December the 14th. Don't miss it, put it in your diaries. It really will be quite amazing. So we look forward to seeing you then. And in the meantime, thanks for joining us. Take care. Fabulous stuff, everybody. And from me, Paul Jeffrey. thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.